The new arc of Deep Seek drama is amazing, very entertaining, and also it's shown us how greedy these companies are. It started with that OpenAI team found out evidence linking Deep Seek to use something called distillation. Distillation is a technique used when you want to train a smaller model on a data from a larger and bigger model. You technically go to this bigger, larger model and ask it questions, and when you get this response, use it in your training. As it say, he trained AI models by extracting data from larger and more capable ones. It's efficient to train a smaller model with a fraction of the cost. The irony of hearing that OpenAI complaining about someone using their own models to steal and train data from it, which what they did when he started to create the bigger and better model starting from the GBT3 until now, they have been sucking down data from the internet without any consent of any one of us. It gets even better. The artificial intelligence Caesar David Sachs said that's possible the IB theft had occurred. There is evidence that what DeepSec did here is distilled knowledge out of OpenAI models. He doesn't think that OpenAI is very happy about this. To be honest, nobody care about what OpenAI feel. It's some of the people actually happy that this happened, especially the people supporting the open source. And it get even funnier. The CEO of Anthropic AI, Dario Amadi, took a look at the distillation and dissed the entire nation of China. He wrote on a large, large article talking about why he doesn't think that DeepSeek is like a competitive to what USA doing. He encouraging basically the USA companies to stop exporting NVIDIA ships to them. He started talking about the, the DeepSeek advancement are good as a Chinese AI company has developed model that is in some aspect approaching the performance of leading USA AI systems at a lower cost. Then he started to talking about support for export controls. He wanted the USA government to double down on the control of exporting the advanced ship to China. Then he talked also about the reinforcement learning, which is a type that right now is big, becoming more bubbler, but it's still in the early stages. He said that the amount of being spent on the second uh, reinforcement stages is small for all the players. Spending 1 million instead of 0.1 million is enough to get huge gains. He also mentioned that the cost of deep seek actually is not the 6 million which is kind of mistake that I did in the last time that I talked about this model. With the actual calculation for running one training for the deep seek using the GPUs they have with just 6 million. I kind of started to understand when I looked more deeply at the research paper of deep seek. They mentioned that the cost of training the deep seek R1 about one time is costing about 5.56 million which is kind of understandable and he said i can only speak for anthropic but cloud 3.5 sonnet is mid-size model that cost a few 10 millions to train i won't give any exact number also the 3.5 sonnet was not trained in any way that involved a larger or more expensive model basically here is saying that the sonnet didn't look to a bigger model to get a data from. And here comes the most important part in the article, in my opinion, a bipolar world. He talked about this part, and if China and USA continue like this, there's gonna be some sort of bipolar world that would, that would basically have two equal almost powers that competing to creating the bigger and better system for AI. But it seems as likely that China could direct more talent, capital, and focus more on the military application. Combined with their large industrial base and military strategic, that could help China take the command lead on the global stage, not just for AI, but for everything. Which is kind of very weird, like, this is not about who have the better AI, it's basically who have the lead on the world which started to get slightly political and I, I don't feel good about it. Which leading us that the White House says they are looking into national security implication of China deep seek R1, basically banning the entire platform and the open source model from deep seek. So 
let me get this correct. Do you want to ban the model? Not only that, do you want to do you want to double down on the control of exporting the high end chip from Nvidia, which for me is kind of very weird because I already have seen what China right now can do, and it's amazing. I don't it's kind of feel weird that the deep sea company is right now doing what OpenAI should have been doing from the start. They, they are the open AI, not open AI. Open AI is like, you can call it close AI or hype AI, but not open AI. The real open AI company right now is the deep seek. And this is not just a bunch of people upset that deep seek did a good job at creating and getting data from open AI ABI, which I'm pretty sure they paid for it, unless they somehow made like a million account and use the free tokens that they give us when you start a new account on OpenAI, which highly unlikely. It's actually because the stock have fell off for tech company. Hundreds of billions of dollars were wiped clean from the big tech companies like Nvidia after the what have been seen from the deep seek performance. And not only that, it's an open source and you can use the platform for free. Basically, DeepSeek was a killing blow to OpenAI and Anthropic and even Meta. One of the key factors that made the NVIDIA stock fail off like this is the internal architecture of DeepSeek itself. DeepSeek used something called MOE, Mixture of Expert. The Mixture of Expert basically is a smaller model that each one of them is tasked or very good at something like coding, mathematics, creative writing, and they only get activated when the bigger, basically, gate model say, go ahead, work on this task, and give me the result. Not like the other model from OpenAI, which is DIN's model using Transformer, which is heavily relying more memory to use, but the MOE from DeepSeek use less memory, so basically less GPUs. It's not only that, but it has been praised by researchers for its ability to tackle complex reasoning tasks, especially in mathematics and coding, which everyone have seen my few videos in the last two weeks. I actually talked about how good the DeepSeek R1 in terms of coding. And also the DeepSeek team itself has said that they take it two months and less than 6 million to achieve the DeepSeek R1 development. When all the DeepSeek R drama started to die slightly, actually it got better when I saw the release of the Quinn 2.5 Max model. And in the Quinn shed, which is kind of insane, right now they have their own shed. You can use it for free. They have the Quinn Max, most powerful language model in the Quinn series by far, and also the Quinn 2 Plus. And I'm going to talk about more of this model in the coming video. So if you are interested, please hit the like and subscribe. And trust me when I say this, it seems like China is not going to slow down in terms of the OpenAI, which is insane saying that OpenAI is being supported more from China, which is known for basically censoring and stricting data getting out of China or in China. That's insane for me. Yeah, I have seen all the meme of DeepSeek being censored. But to be honest, if you remember that the Gemini version 1.5, when it released, it was like AI artificial racism and printing Elon Musk as black person. It was crazy. It was so censored that people was making fun of it. And seeing everyone right now heavily focus on how censored the DeepSeek R1, which is an open source model, which... Mean you can find the dolphin version of it, basically uncensored version of it, so you can use it and ask it anything that you want. That's it for today's video. I feel like the deep seek drama is one of the best things that happened so far in this year. The amount of content that you have I have seen talking only about the deep seek and the opening eye drama is amazing. Like I can make more videos if I want to just talking about the drama. It's Content generation topic. But I think I will stop talking right now about the news of the DeepSeek R1 and go back focusing on models and coding and making guides for you guys. And before I end this video, please let me know down below what you think about what's going on, the conflict between the open source that's coming from China and the USAI company that's like right now fighting 
China, but in a non-direct way so far. So is he keep the leading innovation or basically becoming number one in the AI models? That's it. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the coming video.